Thanks to Valve, Linux gaming is generating a lot of heat recently. And if you're one of the people trying to get your shining gaming gears to run Linux, you may or may not have heard of Arch Linux. But either way, there's some information you need to know. That the operating system on Steam Deck is an Arch-based Linux. Arch is a rolling release distribution, meaning the system doesn't have any fixed version number. And you can update all the softwares on your system whenever you want so you can stay on the bleeding edge of technologies. However, the issue with Arch Linux is that it has a modular installation process, meaning first, you have to pick which package you want for your system, which requires basic knowledge of Linux. And second, you need to use terminal to install the whole system, which can be intimidating for beginners. And thirdly, there is a chance you mess up the command, which can fail the installation. And fourth, it can be time consuming if you're a slow reader like me. Good news is there are a lot of distributions that built on top of Arch Linux, which provides user-friendly installation experience, especially the two I'm gonna talk about today, Endeavor OS and Garuda Linux. Both systems offer nearly identical installers. In Endeavor OS, you have the freedom to choose which desktop environment you want to install. But for Garuda Linux, you have to choose the desktop environment before you download the ISO file. And after the installation, Endeavor OS offers some basic setups like updating the system mirror, updating the system, and some wallpaper setup. But in Garuda Linux, they offer a lot of commonly used software for you to choose from to install. So if you know a bit about Arch Linux and know where to look for the software you need, you might be able to enjoy the simplicity of Endeavor OS because the manual from Garuda Linux is quite long to go through. But Garuda Linux definitely has a better hand-holding experience for new users. The other difference between the two is the choice of AUR repository, aka Arch User Repository. AUR is another signature feature from Arch Linux. It is the secondary repository maintained by the Arch community to provide all the software that may or may not include it in the official Arch branch. These software are initially in source code format, so you have to compile them in order to use them. But there are a lot of commonly used software with pre-compiled binary, so you can install them directly. Endeavor OS is using the vanilla version of AUR repository, but the Garuda Linux is using something called Chaotic AUR. Basically, it is a selection of the software from the original AUR, but they are pre-built into binaries so you can install them directly on your system. This is a good choice if you don't have the time to compile it or the computer power on your system. There is also an awesome video dived into what it is created by Brody Robertson and you can check it out here. To install and remove the packages on Endeavor OS, you have to use Terminal. Pacman is the default package manager for Arch repo. You can use pacman capital S to install a software and pacman capital R to uninstall. It uses YAY to manage packages from AUR. In Garuda, you can use Pamac to do everything. Pamac is a package manager they ported from Manjaro. It has a graphical interface and a set of command lines. You can use Pamac install to install software from Arch Repo, Pamac Build to install software from AUR, and Pamac Remove to uninstall packages. For gaming, a lot of things are already configured and optimized in Garuda Linux Gaming Edition. It has the NVIDIA proprietary driver, Steam, and the latest Golden Agro Proton version out of the box. But if you want to go for Endeavor OS, you have to set them up manually. However, I want to mention here that Arch has one of the best wiki documentations in Linux world. People from other distributions are coming here constantly to solve their issues. So setting up your first gaming environment here might not be as hard as you think. And for the performance, I installed Assassin's Creed Origin on both systems. I didn't notice anything different between them. So which one should you choose? If you're new to Arch Linux and just want to play games after the installation, I highly recommend the Garuda Linux Gaming Edition. In my opinion, it has the best hand-holding experience for new users. But if you don't mind learning about Arch Linux and want to do some DIY yourself, why not give Endeavor OS a try? Because again, Arch Wiki 
is one of the industrial standards when it comes to troubleshooting on Linux. And if in the future you enjoy tweaking your system using the Arch Wiki, you might want to try out installing pure Arch Linux on your system. And let me tell you, installing Arch from scratch was one of the best experience I had in my Linux life. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, if you think this video is encouraging you daily driving a Linux distribution, please hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.